Jersey Sports Zone's regional championship coverage from Rutgers is brought to you by Ocean First Bank. It has been an incredible weekend of high school football here at Rutgers, and just when you think it can't get any better, get ready for this one. East Orange and Clifton go the distance and then some in one of the best games in New Jersey high school football championship history. Clifton opens the North Group 5 Championship with a 6 minute 24 second opening drive capped off by QB Kyle Vellis from a yard out. The Mustangs jump out to a 7-0 lead. East Orange has a response. Damon Phillips cashing in from 9 yards out. At the end of one, we're knotted up at 7 apiece. In the second quarter, Clifton driving. Edwin Thomas the third causes the fumble. Michael Kristoff with the recovery for the Mustangs. That was big because Clifton would take the lead thanks to Ryan Lisner's 33 yard field goal. It's the Mustangs out in front, 10 to seven. Late first half, Clifton pinned at their own three. Vellis is airing it out. Donovan Swayze comes down with the pass and he's got daylight in front of him. They're not gonna catch him. 97 yards. Clifton takes a 17-7 lead. East Orange is able to close out the half with Geraldo Gibson's 28-yard field goal as time expires. At the half, Clifton's in front, 17-10. No scoring in the third. We fast forward to the fourth. East Orange looking to tie the game inside the five, but there's a fumble. Omar Muheisen on the recovery. Clifton stays in front, 17-10, with 6.09 to go. Late in the fourth, third and 19, Raiden Oliver keeps the drive alive. This is a gain of 26 yards, and East Orange is on the move. The Jaguars get it to the four. Oliver, with the season on the line, shows his poise. He hits Joshua Richards for the score. Just 19 ticks on the clock. We're tied up at 17, and it's overtime at SHI Stadium for a region championship. In OT, check out pit commit, Kyle Lewis. He causes the fumble and Chris Amos falls on it. East Orange with the turnover. They can win it with a touchdown or a field goal. The Jaguars have a 36 yard field goal attempt to win the title and the kick goes just left. Buckle up, we've got double overtime at Rutgers. East Orange gets the ball first in double OT. Oliver hooks up with Richards again. 14 yards. Second touchdown catch for Joshua Richards. East Orange takes its first lead of the game, 24 to 17. Clifton is down to its final play in double OT. Vela spins away from the pressure and Muheisen makes a first down catch. Wow, that's clutch. First and goal at the three. And the Mustangs cap it off with Brian Feliciano from three yards out. He ran for 129 yards in this game and get ready for triple overtime. East Orange and Clifton tied up at 24. The game ultimately ends with controversy. Fourth and goal from the one. Fellas looking to give Clifton the lead. The ball is taken away by Ahmad Nalls. The Mustangs say Fellas broke the plane but Knowles realizes the play isn't dead and he takes off to the promised land. That's a 100 yard fumble recovery touchdown. This one's gonna go up to the booth for video replay. East Orange awaits its fate from the officiating crew. After review, and we've got Bedlam on the East Orange sidelines. The Jaguars, a perfect 13-0 thanks to an amazing triple overtime thriller. 30 to 24 is your final. There are still pictures that show Vellis with his knee in the end zone while holding the ball. But in the end, there was not enough evidence up in the booth to ultimately overturn the call. This was an incredible football game played by both teams. You can understand Clifton's heartbreak and frustration, but don't take anything away from East Orange. They forced overtime with a late TD pass and ultimately create two turnovers in the three overtimes. JSE's post-game coverage begins with Ahmad Nalls, who gave his vantage point of the 100-yard play that ultimately gave East Orange the title.
I, I realized I had it because he started stretching the ball out, and I just grabbed it and ripped it. But I thought they was going to call it dead, so I brought it out with my hand. But then I was like, go, 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 and I just started running. Words can't even explain how I feel right now. I love these brothers. We play by each other. We play with each other. It don't matter how each individual person did. We play as a unit, and we always got each other back when it comes to it. We the best team when it comes to fourth quarter. We prepared for this all year in practice. It just all came together. I did what I had to do. Raiden put the ball there. We just kept fighting. We never stopped. The game was close. A lot of people thought we was going to lose. Even some of our fans probably thought we was going to lose, but we just kept fighting. I knew it was going to come down to this because Clifton's a good team. But also I knew that I got a bunch of dogs on my team, sharks in the water. And at the end of the day, anyone, anyone, we're willing to play them. And, we don't, we don't, and that's not conjecture. That's not ego. That is truly, truly admiration because you always want to play the best. From Rutgers University, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.